guy is that a new permission old brick home not a huge yard but I like doing these little yards they're nice quick 20 minute hunters there's a little bit more yard on that side so maybe it'll be a little more than 20 minutes but check it out first good target I've gotten uh, like a 1990 nickel and some foil so far but first good target um, let me set it right here actually I'll put it right there it's an Indian just an Indian it's a nice older one 1875 so really cool clean up pretty well too so we'll catch you okay guys back house. to the front of this house just finished that side yard and got really nothing but that uh nice indian got like a 1230 signal was expecting an indian head uh, indian head at the best but i think it might have something silver here it's like a brett or a brooch of some kind let's check a look at this whoa that looks sweet Oh, that's got to be silver. It says May. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's got some markings on the back. British silver. I see a lion. A lion, uh, anchor, and like a bee of some kind. Wow, that's got to be silver. That is. bit of weight to it. That is so cool. Holy moly, that is awesome. I think it's torn a little bit right here at the end, but looks like a hairbread of some kind. Really cool. Keep on going. Okay, I've uh, done the front yard. Now I'm coming back here and just going back and forth. Uh, there's another house. Got a real interesting relic here. Check this out. Look at the decoration on this thing. that it looks like it's hollow it's got you know, something went in there or what that is crazy cool not sure what it is it's solid it's heavy so we'll have to figure that out cool okay guys that last find I got posted on uh, ID me and WTF uh, pages on Facebook and people are saying it's a dagger uh, ceremonial dagger sheath possibly so that'd be pretty cool possibly Civil War era. so I got a nickel tone and I ended up digging this of course there's a little piece that was broken off um, but I thought it was gonna be just one of those uh, aluminum uh, things from the uh, siding and check this out it says Harrison and it's very fragile Morton and then there's a date right there, 1888. So I don't know if that, it's got little two hole pins. Right on each side there was one. It broke off the end and the little pin part, but it's, it's silver plated is what it looks like. It's not full silver, but definitely plated. Um, I'm guessing maybe a piece to a, a piece of furniture. I'm not sure. I'm gonna Check it out guys, I got a piece of silver down the hole here. Uh, looks like, well we got a one dime. No mint mark. It's a barber. 1899, just making the 1800s, I'll take it though. Beautiful little piece. It's like in pretty good condition too. Cool. This little Keep side yard is really given. 
check this cool little pin out it says interstate uh, mantel and tile dealers association looks like it's silver plated but it was a pin that's pretty cool just the way that uh, fine is placed around it. it looks looks like an older piece so that's really cool check it out guys another little tag here it's ringing 1240 they apparently didn't listen it says do not remove for your credit when you return I'm guessing they didn't get their credit so pretty cool hole on each side so it's pinned to something I'm not sure what it would have went to cool still over here at the side of this house Working my way. There's so many targets. It's unbelievable. Check it out, guys. Over here by the house. Got like a little nickel signal. Check it out. It's just a civilian decorative two-piece button. Reason I know it's civilian. You gotta rust it out in the back. But still, a cool little decorative piece. Losing some daylight here, so I'm gonna keep on going. Still going. Just got another Indian head. 1891. Cool. How about another Indian? 1881. Cool. That's three little Indians. Okay, guys. Well, this is the last hole. I just wanted to show you. Check it out. This is the way to end it. Five cents. Look at this. This is the town I'm in. Mount Vernon Golf Club. You know this is old for five cents. That is so cool. Awesome. This town was founded in 1803 or 1805, one of the two. There were people here, I think, settled before then, and just the town was founded then. So this is old. I like that. Cool. Thank you, guys. I will see y'all later. going on guys so you can see I'm over here I my <clears throat> excuse me last permission I'm in the backyard this time started over this this side here moving down haven't got too much um, but I just got about a 1230 some signal dug down and grabbed this got this out heard a shaking of course opened up to inspect it's just a uh, little, looks like a little powder makeup compact. So, um, so I always search the hole again uh, with the pinpointer. Got another uh, target. Pulled out this. Check this out. It's another token. It says FGS. So F period G period S period. On the back, it was really gunked up. I got most of it off. It says good for five cents in trade. So nice, uh, another old token. Hopefully uh, another piece of local history. So that's uh, some more research I got to do, and I love doing that. It's best part of this hobby is finding out what you what you found. So, And I love finding old tokens. A little more personable, especially if it's local history. So I will keep on going. There's not too much yard back here. They just tore down their garage, so it's just cement uh, slab next. So I'm prepared to deal with pieces of trash. But uh, over yeah. here on the side of the yard, we'll see. I haven't got much in between then. It's a bunch of trash. But I just got my first silver of the day. It's just a rosy 63, but hey, silver is silver. 63D. Cool. Nice and shiny. I will take over it. Over here by the side of the house again, just rescanning the yard. I'm getting, it's getting dark, so it's probably one of my last plugs. Uh, I get like a, kind of a, like a nickel or a pop tab signal. I pull this out. I think it's, oh, it's a piece of aluminum. I get to ripen it off and looking at it. Let me set it down there. It's focusing. Look at this. That's uh, the mark of silver right there at the line. Um, it's some kind of piece piece of thin, thin silver, but it's uh, stamped in a 
Maker's Mark on there, so some kind of British silver, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what it went to. It's the thinnest piece of silver I've ever gotten. So that's really cool. I'll take it. Mm -hmm.